everybody and welcome back to my channel. Yes, I'm bringing you guys a Dollar Tree haul. Now, every time I always ask a husband, can we go to the Dollar Tree? Yeah, and then I end up being like, no, we don't have to go. But there is some things that I've been really wanting to get at the Dollar Tree. But I do try to avoid it as much as possible. Um, I am going to my parents' house in the next week and I love going to the one Dollar Tree that they near the, where they live at. I just love that store. So you guys will be seeing another haul from the Dollar Tree if I can find some really good things. But yes, I'm here to share with you guys what I got at the Dollar Tree. Um, but like I said, I've been trying to find some things that I've seen people haul and I want to really start educating Benjamin a little bit more. Um, I feel like I have enough toys, but I want to start educating. He is a very smart kid, so I got some stuff from the little school section that I want to work with. And if you guys don't know, today is 4th of July, but by the time you guys watch this video, it'll be, I don't even know when I'll post this video. So one thing I did get is I did get some glow sticks. Now we go watch the fireworks. Um, later tonight we'll watch it, and they have, fire, they have um, glow sticks there but they want like a couple dollars just for a freaking glow stick and here I can get a three pack of necklaces for a dollar and we have some friends with us so they like, I'll give those to the kids with us and then I also got another pack so I'll show you guys that when I get to it but can't go wrong with a three pack of um glow sticks I'm also giving away glow sticks for Ben's birthday party that I found like super cheap so there is that um, Benjamin is hardcore into picture frames lately like I don't know what it is he wants to play with picture frames he wants to bring them with him when we go to places he takes a picture frame wherever we go and we really try be like yo you don't need to bring a picture frame and I don't want him using the ones that I've had he's already broken a couple of them already um, thankfully they're the ones that I can still hang on the wall so we got that but uh, I'm like Benjamin pick some picture frames that you want so now I just got to get some pictures for him I'll let him choose his photos that he wants but he picked out these picture frames um, I should have checked this one earlier but it doesn't have one of those things but that's okay we can always make something but he picked out these picture frames so I'm like you can ha do whatever you guys want to do with these so he's all excited about his picture frames so I have to give those to him I found this movie, as you guys know, I love finding movies at the Dollar Tree. That's one thing that I absolutely love is finding movies for a dollar. And I like it when they, especially they have the digital copies. I, I collect the digital copies, so I really like getting that. Um, but when you guys can think you can get a movie for a buck, now just think, if you guys go to the Red Machine or whatever, the Red Box, I get Netflix. Um, but if you guys go there, just think about it. You guys will pay more for buying that movie or renting it. Or driving there, renting it, and dropping it off towards you guys can just get it for a buck while you're shopping out and about. So I saw this movie. I'm like, Graham, hey, look, it's RoboCop. He's like, oh, you better get it. I don't know if I've ever seen RoboCop. I don't even know how old this movie is. I thought this is like the old version. It might not be. Is there a remake of this? I didn't know. I'm not seeing a date on here. Whatever. But you know what? For, oh, 2014. But for a dollar... I'm getting it so husband and I can watch that he ended up getting these wire brush set I think these are for his grill or something like that or his car I don't know he uses these a lot for stuff um, he also saves old toothbrushes and cleans stuff with that so he grabbed these and I'm like if you let me go to the Dollar Tree you can get it and one Dollar Tree that I went to was remodeling their store and they're getting a snack zone I didn't see a snack zone I'm like what the heck is a snack zone until we went to Florida last year I never saw a snack zone until we went to Florida and I'm like okay you know that's what a snack zone is and now I see them from time to time but that's the first one that we're getting in my area next thing we got is the uh, spices and stuff I why not these are pretty much the same ones you guys would get at the grocery store with their fred buck he ended up getting ground pap paprika um you know so he's making we're making some chicken i think on the grill tonight or something so he marinated it at that and then we got the black peppercorns that we just put in our pepper grinder so for a buck that is awesome and then one thing i really saw that i saw people haul were these toothbrushes and benjamin is in is really into Hot Wheels lately and I'm like oh let's see if we can find a Hot Wheels toothbrush you know I'm really trying to get him to brush his teeth more and so I'm like look at that you got a Hot Wheels cup and a toothbrush he wanted to grab more and I'm like no you don't need to grab more you're fine but 
I thought this is great for him. You know, he's got his little cup and a toothbrush and we have them on each floors of our house, you know, depending on where we're at. We need to brush his teeth. So got that, you know, because he's having a birthday party themed Hot Wheels party. So then I said I wanted to start working with Ben on more educational things. Like, he's a really smart kid. He's really smart if he wants to be. But my mom's like, you need to start working with him on sight words. So I found some, like, words on here. They have, like, the list of what comes in it. Um, actually, I should have read this beforehand. These are a little bit too hard. They're math vocabulary. I wasn't reading when I bought it, but that, that'd be something I could read with him. I'll probably save those for when he gets older. But here are ones that are first grade, so I thought these are perfect for him. So after, I'm going to teach him the letters. Um, I just want to start getting him a little bit started a little bit earlier. Um, I ended up getting these National Geographic cards. Now, they are words that is like Z for zebra, I for ibex, and then they also have some like double E's. So E, E is for cheetah. So I thought, you know, these are great for him great for him to learn. Um, I also got some foam counting blocks, so I'm going to kind of have him count. He knows how to count. He, he does know how to, he knows the words. I don't know if he knows how to count, but I thought these are perfect for him, so I'm going to kind of go through stuff with him on learning about that. He wanted popcorn. I'm like, that's fine with popcorn. I didn't want to get the extra butter. They only had extra butter or kettle corn. I'm not a kettle corn fan. The husband is. My cat is rubbing up against me. But I thought, you know what, extra butter and you get three for a dollar. I'm like, that's fine. We'll get that. So, got that. Husband um, told me the other day he really enjoys these Reynolds wraps. Like, he wraps when we cook meat on the grill, he really wraps it up. So I thought, I'll just get him more of these because it's summertime. We're going to be grilling a lot, and he likes them. Go for it. You might lose some money doing this, but this is just easy, easy, easy. So I got that for him. Um, Benjamin wanted this little pinball game, and I'm like, yeah, that's fine, I guess. It's fun for him to play with. And he was a very good boy while we were shopping, like better than normal. So I'm like, we'll get that little pinball game for him. Then I found the other um, bracelets. These are for that. Um, there is six of them in here, and these are red for the glow stick. So we're definitely going to be using that. Can you throw that away, honey? Please throw that in the garbage. Ended up getting some books to work with him because I want him to really start learning a little bit better. So I got ones that say numbers, and there's stickers in here, and it does have an age. No, it just says pre-K and kindergarten, but there's some stickers in here, so I'm going to kind of work with him. I'm filling some of that stuff out. I just want to work with him for like, even if it's 10 minutes a day, just to kind of work with him on that. And then I also got letters. He knows his letters really well. They also had shapes, and I didn't see the colors, but I kind of want to get the color ones for him. But we'll work on these and see how it goes. And then I ended up getting this activity book. Now this is for kindergarten through first grade. Um, it is math, but I'm trying to teach him how to count. So I got that for him. Yeah, that's letters, but you got to count. I also ended up getting him some uh, Pooh's Go Together game. It's where you take, like, there's some two cards, and then you try to match it with another card. So it's like a hammer and a nail, and then on the other side it's probably got Pooh on, or it's got Tigger, so I thought that'd be kind of cool to work with him. And then I got rhyming cards to work with him. So, you know, what rhymes with Pug? What rhymes with Pug? bug. So I got him some of those to work with. Hold on honey, I'll help you with that. I also I got so this. Now I saw somebody phone. haul this the other day, or haul this at one point and I really wanted them and then I forgot about them and then I found it but they only had just this one but I do want to get the other ones that they have. I think they have the numbers, um, they have the letters. Yeah, now yeah. these are and he just broke the game that I just got him because he doesn't know how to wait. So Benjamin you're going to have to wait. So I ended up getting the number stencils. So it is the shape of like the letters and then they have the stencils in here and then they have some other ones. It's just a stencil and a tracer and I thought this is really cute. So I'm on the hunt to find the other ones to go with that. I gotta get some dry erase board markers but I ended up getting him just something simple for this. I want him to start writing letters and we can wipe them right off. So I got him to work on this. Like I said, I really wanna start working with him on just learning a little bit. And then I'm afraid 
of him using scissors. I don't know why. I just, I'm afraid of him using scissors, but I'm like, he's almost five years old. He's going to be starting preschool next year or this coming fall. I'm like, I'm going to get him some construction paper and I'm going to have him just kind of make something, whatever he wants to do. So this is just 36 sheets of construction paper. So I thought this is stuff to keep him busy because with his little sister, he's been kind of a terror lately. So I just want to keep him, you know, keep him busy. So this was pretty much, you know, a trip just for Benjamin. As I said, we're going on a road trip next week. So I thought, why not get some little bags? Of I'm going to try one. I'm going to try one. one. I thought, why not get some bags mm -hmm. of pretzels? So there's six packs in here. So I thought these are great to have him just have a bag. Plus I'm working on portion control with him. I'm starting to work on that. I'm also going to be start doing a video with snacks with portion controlled stuff in it. So you guys will start seeing upcoming videos. So there's that. One thing he should go do right now is put this in the freezer. So this is Juicy Juice Freezer Pops. Hold on. He wanted some other ones, and I'm just like, I don't know. I know these are not as good for you. I want Kool-Aid ones. You want Kool-Aid ones? Yeah, he wants the Kool-Aid ones, but I just don't like what's in him. I'm starting to get him to start eating healthier, less sugar. So this does have sugar in it, but it does say it's a with 100% juice. Um, so I'm like, you know what? If, as long as it's 100% juice, it's 110 calories. There is a lot of sugars in here, but... Um, I just want him to start eating a little bit healthier. Why don't you go put those in the freezer? And here's your popcorn too. So I want one of these. okay, I'll get you one of those. So there's that for you. And I saw this little mermaid tail. I thought this is so cute. I think I saw this in somebody's video. And I'm like, I think it's cute. Looking at it in person, it's really cool. I'm not much into knickknacks, but I thought this is just really cute. I like it. I like it a lot. It's like a silverish, pearlish gray color um i just like it so i thought that'd be kind of cute to put on um upstairs in my little knickknack spot and then i ended up getting some trays um these are for the when we go to grandma june i want one okay i'll give you one right now um so i ended up here's one for you right there so I ended up getting these little trays. Um, I thought these are perfectly cute for my bathroom. Like I want to start organizing my bathroom Wait, a little I'm bit more. Wait, not put these away. Okay, um, but I wanted to start organizing my bathroom a little bit. So you guys will start seeing an organization an organization video. Um, but I thought these would be kind of cute just to put some of my stuff in. So I'm still thinking what else I can do with these. But I really I really like these. And I thought they overlapped each other, but they do not. I don't know what I was looking at when I saw them, but they came in different colors, but I just like the green. I like the green, so and it goes good with my purple bathroom. But yeah, that was my uh, Dollar Tree haul. I got some decent stuff. I'm trying not to just get crap, but like I said, I really want to work with Ben and being a little bit more educational with him, and I want to work on more organization things. So you guys will see more hauls with that stuff. And yeah, so be to stay tuned. There's gonna be another Dollar Tree haul probably next week um, for when I go on my trip. But other than that, thank you guys for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you guys all later. Bye bye.